In the post game after Salisbury's win over Stevenson, and we're with Jackie Boswell, head coach of Stevenson. Your thoughts just to get us started here on the game tonight? Yeah, I thought we had our chances. We we hung around, hung around. You needed to be able to put some key shots in. I don't think we did that, and then we couldn't get some key stops toward the end. And that's really the name of the game. You know, you got stop, score, stop. We just couldn't get into that kind of rhythm. It did not help um, with the foul trouble, but we got to be able to play through that. I thought we showed a little bit of immaturity with that, um, so we need to be able to learn from that and mature by next week. I think there was a like a 10-1 run or maybe a 12-1 run that uh, Salisbury made towards mm-hmm. the end of the first quarter. You're, you're right. It was nip and tuck the whole way. Mm-hmm. But that four-minute stretch right there was, I thought, the difference in terms of the scoring. That that gave right. them a little cushion. It did. And, you know, you can't have a cushion. I mean, you can't let they're, – they're a really good team. They're really well coached and so you have to be able to not allow those kind of runs to happen um definitely in our control uh you know I thought we we were a little bit more athletic and I don't think we took advantage of that um and gave up some easy points what about the foul trouble you had three or four girls in foul trouble was that a little bit of a lack of maturity that you're kind of talking about um you know I thought they were tough calls honestly but you got to be able to play through those and I didn't think that when they came back in the game they were they were in the right mindset do you know what I mean um I thought our younger kids that had to come in and play some minutes did a good job um but when you have to go back to the kids you're relying on all the time they have to do is just a little bit better of keeping their heads in it and I, I no doubt that they will let's talk about some positives your daughter Tessa Boswell actually off the bench came in had three three-pointers Destiny mm-hmm. Towns mm-hmm. G- yeah. gave you a, a couple of good minutes just talk about some of the participation off the bench yeah I mean you know we're, we're asking our freshmen to play some minutes um, probably more so than anybody in the past and you know they've come in Destiny's been struggling with some injuries throughout the preseason so she hasn't been able to get a ton of minutes so thought she came in um, and can give us some spurts and she can bang around with the post players and you know Tessa's job is to come off the bench and hit some threes and um, you know if we can get her to play a little bit better defense as well and and you know she'll keep working at that and, and we're going to be in good shape so it, it really Really, you know, I just told him in there. I was like, when we go rogue, we only score 59 points. When we <laughs> when we stay together, we get, we score 81 points. So we just got to learn from that. I, I was impressed though with the aggressiveness, some mm-hmm. defensive pressure. Mm-hmm. I think they played with a lot of energy and grit. Uh, no, I totally agree with that. We got another 10 second violation again. So this is our, you know, second one that way. And and we've got to be able to keep doing that. The problem is when you get in foul trouble, and then you got to we had to back off that pressure a little bit. So we had to play a little bit hesitant, but we got to figure out how to play through that. What's the plan for Thanksgiving? giving in terms of time off coming back what do you do um they got a couple days we don't play again until next wednesday um so they're going to take a couple days off and i think well needed right around this time it's been a long seven weeks already and you know let's just let them go home with their families and be thankful you know that we're out here and playing again absolutely at hood next wednesday night and then i think home against alvernia Correct. on the third if i'm not mistaken happy thanksgiving to you thank you happy thanksgiving to you as well and your family thank you with head coach jackie boswell this is gary stein go mustang sports.tv